Guys, if you're struggling to get women right now, I just want you to know that it is not your fault because female delusion is at an all-time high, okay? We have women with impossibly high standards, even though they don't really bring much to the table. And we've got millions of men out there who are struggling to even get, get on dates, get attention, never mind get laid or get in a relationship. So if you're struggling right now, just know that you're not alone, okay? But there are a small percentage of men out there right now who are absolutely killing the game, okay? They basically have the pick of the spoils. They've got too many options. So in this video, you know, this video is not gonna be a negative video bashing women or anything like that. This is gonna be a positive video focused on what we need to do as men and what we can learn from the guys who are absolutely killing it to level up. So I'm gonna give you some practical tips that you can implement today to immediately start having more success with women. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because the, the number one reason why guys reach out to me for coaching is ultimately because they want more success with women. A lot of guys are struggling with confidence. Uh, a lot of guys obviously want to improve the physique as well, which is tied into the comfort, confidence. But ultimately, the driving factor behind all of that usually is because they want to improve their dating life. And this is just, you know, a serious problem at the moment is just a lot of guys are just basically giving up. And, and you know, we're seeing this with the rise of like the MGTOW community. I don't know whether you're familiar with that, but it stands for make men go their own way. Okay. And that is basically where men are just completely removing women from their life at all and just focusing on everything else, but just completely forgetting about women at all. Okay. I don't think that's a good solution personally, because deep down, I know there's a lot of men out there right now who are lonely and they won't admit it because you know, we're men and we're not supposed to, but there are thousands, if not millions of men out there who are lonely and they want a relationship and they just want to share their life with someone, but they can't even get on dates. All right. You've also got online, you've got the whole red pill community, which, you know, I, th I believe we can take some positives from that kind of ideology, if you will, but a lot of it is kind of negative and bashing women. And I don't think that is a good direction for us to go in. And I don't think that is going to help us as men navigate this unique time that we find ourselves in. Okay. So what is the problem? Well, the problem is that women for, so, for whatever reason, I don't know whether it's because of Instagram and they just get so many simps in the comments, in the DMs, just feeding their ego. Or, you know, we have this whole like feminism movement where women are told, yeah, don't settle for less. You deserve what you deserve, et cetera, et cetera. And we just have women who just have, that they believe in their head that they're a 10 and they're not a 10, okay? They're not even close to a 10, okay? But they're told to not settle for less. So they have massively high standards, even though they don't really bring much to the table. And it's got so bad to the point where there's even like spin songs made about this right now. I, I don't know whether you're familiar with that song where the lyrics go, I'm looking for a man in finance, six foot five. No, sorry, I'm looking for a man in finance, trust fund, six foot five, blue eyes, okay? Now, if you put that into a calculator, which by the way, people have even made calculators of this stuff online. If you Google female delusion calculator, you put in the stats, it can tell you the likelihood of you finding a man that matches your criteria. And when women do this, they can be quite shocked to find out the man that they're looking for, they have even less than a 1% chance, right? So I just took that criteria that we talked about there, and it's basically less than 0.001% or something. But for some reason, women think that's what they're entitled to. And I saw a, a news headline um, a while ago saying by 20, I don't know what date it was, maybe 2030, 45% of women will be uh, single and childless, okay? So this is a problem. It's only getting worse at the moment. And not only that, we've got millions of men around the world who are suffering and they're lonely. And they won't admit this because, you know, we're the men and we don't share our feelings, but there's a lot of men out there that they don't just want to get their dick wet, okay? They just want to 
I mean, they do want to, obviously, but it's not just about that. I think a lot of men, they want to share their life with someone. But right now, it's difficult. And another uh, another way how this is kind of described is when you look at the economics of dating apps. So they did some studies to find out, you know, how many swipes you would have to do to end up going on a date and how many dates you would have to go on to end up having sex and how many times you'd have to have sex to get into a relationship. And let me tell you, for the vast majority of men, the numbers are horrendous. You're talking like thousands and thousands of swipes to, to get laid, never mind get a relationship. But to some men, you know, the top 10% of men, they basically have the pick of the spoils because you've got all these women, you know, right, with impossibly high standards and they believe they deserve the best. So they're just saying no to all the guys apart from the top 10%. So the top 10% basically have pick of most of the women and the rest, the other 90% of men, are basically left to fight over the scraps at the bottom. And just what this has meant is just a lot of guys just aren't having much luck at all and they're suffering, okay? But it doesn't have to be this way and I've got some practical tips for you, okay? So tip number one would be to don't focus on what you can't control, okay? Now, we can't control the delusional females, so there's no point even focusing about it. We can't control, you know, the economics of dating apps. There's a lot of things in our external exterior that we don't really have control over. So it's pointless even wasting mental bandwidth thinking about it. Instead, what we should focus on is focusing on us as men and focusing on getting better because that is the only thing that we have control over. Realistically, the only thing we can do is just improve as men, which brings me on to point number two, which is a lot of men are suffering from low like low confidence, okay? But I believe that if you are suffering from low confidence, just get a six pack and six figures. I talk about this all the time, right? Six pack and six figures. I refuse to believe that if you got a six pack and six figures, you're gonna be less confident than you are right now. Now, some of you might be doing great uh, with your business or your work, but you may, maybe you've neglected other areas of your life I speak with many guys who've just been so focused on work over the last few years. They've neglected their health, they've neglected their physique, they're out of shape, they're fat, uh, they've not been on any sort of dates and they're socially awkward and they've just been very one dimensional. Now, if that's you and you know, you're making good money, that's great, but let's focus on becoming a more well-rounded individual. Equally, it's not like you know, you can just get in shape and get a six pack. And if you've got nothing else going for you, then you're gonna have success. You'll probably have more success with women than if you were fat and out of shape, but it's not good enough just being one dimensional. We've just got to level up in all areas. Get your physique right, get your money right, get your, have some style, have some charisma, build up your confidence. And if you do all these things, it's impossible for you to not have success with women. The third point I've got for you, is to don't want it so much. I don't know whether you've ever been with a girl and she's just super, super keen. So keen to just have a relationship or see you or whatever to the point it just makes you pull back and you're like, oh, like chill, you know? It's kind of like a little bit off-putting. Well, the more you desire, and this, this happens on the micro level between a person and a person, but it also happens on like an energetic level. Like if you just really, really want girls and really, really want to be with girls, that's the energy you're going to give off. And that's actually going to hurt you. Whereas if you were just, if you just had the kind of the attitude where you're like, oh, I don't really care, but you know, if a nice girl comes along, then cool, I'm going to go with it. Now, a really good YouTuber to follow who makes videos about this is a guy called Aaron Doherty. I think it is, I'll, I'll put him on screen, but he basically talks about the law of, what is it? Something about reduce importance. Yeah, that's it. It really talks about like the more important you make something, the, the harder it is gonna be for you to achieve that thing. So really, instead of wanting so much, just understand 
Just know deep down that it's going to happen. Don't focus on external circumstances. Don't focus on you wanting. Just know it's going to happen eventually and you're just going to focus on yourself until it does happen. Okay, so next tip I've got for you is that dating is a skill issue. It's a skill like any other skill, like going to the gym, like building a physique, like earning money, like playing a sport. Dating is a skill issue. And because it's a skill, that means it's something that you can develop and get better at over time. When you were a kid and you were learning to walk, you, you fell down a lot, right? You made a lot of mistakes, you messed up. You didn't just give up and just lie on the floor and never started walking. Eventually, you just kept getting on, kept getting back up to the point where you could walk. And dating is exactly the same thing. You're gonna go on dates. You might say things that embarrass you. You might look silly. Bad things might happen. You might get rejected by a woman if you ask her out somewhere. Who cares? Who cares? It's just a skill issue. And over time, with enough reps and with enough competence, you will get results, okay? So just focus on just developing yourself and developing your confidence. And a good um, story that I've got to describe this is about a year ago now, I'm in the sauna uh, and there's just all guys in the sauna. There's like eight, nine guys in the sauna. And suddenly this super hot Russian chick walks in the sauna and all the guys were like sitting up straighter and they were just like more aware of the fact that there's this hot chick in the sauna and every every guy was thinking the same thing and guys were like even looking at each other just 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 to see if it, other guys were like paying attention right anyway there's one guy in there he is so overweight he's like i don't know 300 pounds probably more than 300 pounds okay he just sparks a conversation with her start speaking she's laughing finding out where she's from and all the other guys were like what the hell is going on here why is he speaking to her it should it should be me like pretty much every guy in there was jealous of him anyway she was asking oh what are you doing tonight oh maybe you should come join me to the party and it basically ended up exchanging instagrams and every other guy in there was just like what the hell and but the difference is he just had the confidence. He didn't care about, you know, what he looked like. He was just like, I'm just gonna speak to this woman, this this girl, like any other girl, you know? And so if you, even if you don't tick all the boxes, you might not have the best physique, you might not be the richest, you might not be the most charismatic or the most well-dressed, but if you have got a mindset and you've got the confidence, that alone will take you so far okay next tip i've got for you is to invest in yourself okay watching videos like this is definitely going to help but read books uh, buy training programs hire a coach by the way link is in the description um but the only way you're going to get better at this is by investing in yourself and actively working on it sure you can try and learn the hard way which is what a lot of us have had to do but that is going to involve a lot of trial and error, a lot of pain, a lot of embarrassing moments potentially, and it's going to take you a lot longer. And instead, what you can do is just find someone who has done what you want to do and just find out what they did and you can just copy them and you can just shortcut your way there instead. For me, that just makes so much sense. That's why I've got a business mentor. That's why I've got mentors for my health, I, I heavily rely on mentors for me as an individual because it helps me, it's like buying time, okay? It helps me fast track my progress and I would highly recommend you do the same as well, all right? Next tip is to leave the West, okay? Now, I left England like four, over four and a half years ago, okay? So in four and a half years, I have dated one Western woman. And that was just like a, a, a short fling, to be honest. I don't really date Western women that much anymore because this problem of female delusion seems to be just a Western issue. Now, if you're a Western woman watching this, which is highly unlikely because like less than 2% of women watch these videos. But if you are, don't get offended, okay? I'm just, I'm just talking about my personal preference, okay? Some women don't want to date short men or fat men or broke men or whatever. I'm just saying my personal preference. I'm not 
absolutely against dating Western women, but what I find is more of them have this delusional entitled mindset and it's just off-putting. I don't really vibe with it, you know? Like I kind of have like a more of a traditional mindset where a man is a man and a woman is a woman and we each have our individual strengths and weaknesses, but together we are just, you know, better than we are apart, if that makes sense. So, you know, I would highly encourage all of you to just leave the West and just go travel a bit. You don't have to just, you know, completely pack your bags and leave forever, but just go travel around the world, get a taste for different cultures, different types of women, because it will completely just open your eyes and you might not even find that you wanna date Western women anymore. And I honestly think we'll start seeing this more and more where more and more guys are realizing that they can get a woman from overseas or they can simply just leave the West and go overseas and just have a much better success with women and find a much higher quality woman with better traditional values. Now, I'm not saying all Western women are like this. Of course, there's always exceptions to the rules, but if you want a Western woman with a good mindset, well, they're just a lot more rare, okay? And there's gonna be so many more guys who want those kind of women, which is why you've got no option other than to level up, to increase your chances of being able to have access to women like that. Another point I wanna make is just a future prediction because I believe there's light at the end of the tunnel, okay? And we're seeing this on Twitter now with these traditional wife accounts, which are seeming to gain popularity. Now I am convinced some of these accounts are run by dudes, but even still, there's these accounts which are talking about staying at home, raising a family, looking after their man, and you know, just all the kind of like, just displaying traditional wife values. Okay, so that just goes to show that there is interest and eventually the market will go that way. But how long is that gonna take, okay? Because I look at dating like a marketplace, right? You know, where you have buyers and sellers and in any single market, we have periods of expansion and we have periods of contraction. You know, we have recessions and then periods of growth, right? And female delusion, if you were to put it on a chart right now, it's at an all time high, okay? It's a bubble that will pop at some point, it just has to. But how long is that gonna take? It might take five years, it might take 10 years, it might take 20 years. Now ask yourself, do you have time? Do you have 10 or 20 years to wait around for market conditions to correct? Probably not, which is why you need to take action now. And the only person who's gonna change your situation is you, okay? Weak men complain about their situation, blame other people, whereas strong men accept responsibility. They are where they are today and they take the actions necessary to get to where they wanna go. Speaking of which, if you're not getting the results right now with your physique, or with your confidence or with dating, I wanna help you personally. The link is down below and you can work with me one-on-one -on -one to get you fit, to build up your confidence and how, get you having a lot more success with women. Can you do all this by yourself? Of course you can, but dating is incredibly competitive, right? You're up against Mr. Six Pack, Mr. Lamborghini, Mr travel around the world, miss the popping bottles at the club. Now, just think about the I, your ideal woman, okay? Just picture your ideal woman, put yourself in their shoes for a second and be honest and ask yourself, would you choose you right now? Because I know me as a 20 year old, I would not have chosen me, okay? I would have definitely chosen someone else. So if you answer that question and you wouldn't have chosen you right now, well, that means you need, you've got work to do, okay? So forget about female delusion. Forget about these whole, you know, this whole negativity towards women and just focus on you and leveling you up. And eventually you will have far more success with women than you ever know what to do with, okay? Now, if you're interested in my brutally honest dating advice to young ambitious men, go and watch this video right here. And if you wanna know why women aren't interested in you, go and watch this video right here. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope this was helpful and I'll talk to you soon.